Hey everybody, it's Sharon. How are you guys doing? I wanted to show you my website. I wanted to show you the front end and the back end of my website. So this is a logo I created in Canva, very simple. Um, these are different fonts that you can change as far as the navigation goes. When you're designing your own website, it's totally up to you. You know, someone had mentioned branding earlier today. I think branding is all about you and what makes you different than somebody else. It's different than products and services. If I wanted to survey, um, you know, my customers, I'd be more interested in as far as like what products and services they're interested in more so than like my own brand, because it's something that represents you. It, it's you. You don't want to replicate somebody else. Um, that's just not you. So I encourage you to make your brand what you want it to be. As far as websites go, I had this conversation before with a couple of you guys in the group, and I, I've often said, I think everyone should have a website. If you're in the group and you're thinking about entrepreneurship and, and doing something different, you really should have your website. It's, it's you. You know, you're a physician. Um, you could go and purchase your name from Namecheap or GoDaddy. But, you know, get a name and attach it to a website. It doesn't have to be a lot, but at least start. It can always be changed later. So I think that images are huge when it comes to website. And there's a couple things that I want to point out to you. Notice how this is the full screen, because this is important when we go on the back end of the website. And I'm only going to take a few minutes of your time today. This is not a professional picture. This is a picture I did of myself. I purchased a tapestry from Amazon. I think it was like $20. I put myself and I put some makeup on, did my hair, put myself in front of my camera and did a bunch of shots. Um, you know, with it, I put it on the timer and just kept on doing different poses. And then I airbrushed this or I don't know, I put it through one of the apps. Um, it's called Airbrush, that's the app. And then I just uploaded it to my website after I put the sign into um, in Canva. And again, using that um, the logo that I produced in Canva. This is a bunch of publications that I've had in the past. I put it together and I put it into Canva. This border is uh, in DV theme you can put a border around it. This is my course that I do on uh, Living Green. It's on Teachable right now, and I'll do another video tomorrow for Teachable. So the bottom line is this is just the front end, the image. I just did a screenshot, and I hence made it into, um, you know, you could tap on it, and it takes you by the course. Also full screen. This, I want you to notice, this is uh, three different columns here. One, two, three. And this is important when you divide when you're designing your website. So you could see again, this is a full screen, okay? And this is my email that I have. Um, and then again, one, two, three, three different columns here. And these are some products um, that I sell. Full screen. And then I go into my blog. All right, so that's pretty much it. I also have like a freebie at the bottom of that. I So let me get rid of this and let me take you to my DV theme, which is the same as this. So let's see if I can make this smaller for you guys. All right, let's see if this works. Image, 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 right? There's one image, there's two image, there's three images. Then I get into three columns. One, two, three, that's what you're looking at there. Email opt-in, email opt-in. Three columns, three columns, three images, and then I use text. And this is all, they all have links to go to different pages and, and areas of my website. Text and divider. Well, I did the text and divider here. A shop. That's one of the options in the DV theme. There's the shop. Call to action. Call to action. Text divider post slider. There's the text, there's the divider, and there's the post for my website, I, I mean for my blog. 
and then this isn't in here. I go on my website every few days, but I, recently I added a, um, a freebie to some of the blog pages, and obviously it made it to my own homepage. So I can leave it there or not. I, it doesn't really match. I may take that out of there. But that's the bottom line as far as doing, you know, the DV theme. So let me show you what are the options when you're in the DV theme. Uh, WordPress is a lot to learn in the beginning, but it's very doable. And basically, whether you're using Wix or WordPress, I think WordPress, you know, the bottom line is it has a lot to offer. So if you were doing this, um, insert a module. And these are your choices for a module, accordions and audio, if you had to tape it all, and bar counters. I don't have to go through these all, but buttons and blurbs. Blurbs are really good for when you have like um, basically an image with some text above or below it, a call to action, some code. This may be good, like if you wanted to insert a video, uh, you know, a YouTube video, if you want to embed it, you would do that. A contact form, dividers, which I showed you before, the email opt-in I showed you before, Images, you know, you're always going to add images and number countants, post navigation for your blogs, post titles. So there's a ton of um, options here. The shop, which I showed you, I have that on my main page, you know, my welcome page. You can do a slider. Problems with the slider above the fold is that it will actually slow down your load time. So be careful of that. And the same thing with images. I have a plugin. It's called Smush. So whatever um, images I upload, I try to smush ahead of time to get those the pixel uh, pixel down to like 72. Social media, testimonials, um, videos, sliders. All right. So that would be anything that you want to insert into a module. As far as um, a different row. So these all this is all like one section. Let's go into a different row. First thing that pops up are the choices that you have. And this is why I showed you before. Most of my website is full screen. So that would be the image. If I wanted to break it half into half, like maybe do a picture of myself or a product and then describe it maybe half and half. I showed you before those three different columns, one, two, three. So I would load that. If I loaded that in there, then each of those give me an option of a module, same as we did before. You know, as far as image, blog, um, code, you know, obviously you wouldn't want like an image, a blog. Think about how you're designing your website. And the reason why I wanted to show you this is because when, if you don't have a website or if you do have a website, but you want to change it up, I think the best way to do that is by looking at other people's websites. What do you like? What don't you like? And then take it from there and, and take notes and take screenshots and pictures and decide what you like. Um, when you're designing a website, it all, all websites are the same. It's the images. I think you have to have really good images. I think that makes a website. And I also think that um, it's the setup. It's the layout. All these websites can pretty much do the same thing as far as I'm concerned. But if you stick with good pictures and then think about the layout itself, do you want full screen? Do you want... Um, you know, different columns. Do you want two thirds and a third or a third over here? Do you want a sidebar on the main main page? Those are all things to consider. So when you're looking at websites going forward, um, and if you know, if you're not happy with the current website that you have, or you don't know, know if you don't have one, then think about what type of website you want and what layout, because if you're going to hire someone to do this, it's really important to be, um, you know, to have pictures and color schemes and basically everything that you want so that it ends up being what you want without a lot of revisions. And certainly when you go to do this, it is overwhelming um, to begin with. But honestly, it's really doable. You saw Amy do an, a video earlier today. I've been doing my own websites for mm, basically 2000 when I first started, actually. I think my first website was Yahoo. I'm not, I don't even know if they have websites anymore. But anyway, um, this is WordPress. They offer a lot. The only problem I have with WordPress is one of the reasons why I'd like to switch off of it 
is because I'm getting more complex now with like offering courses and webinars and I just feel like the site load time is a little bit slower for me. And then I feel like some of my plugins are kind of interacting with other plugins. So once in a while I have to have a developer come in there, you know, to the back end and they'll say, well, it's, it's a plugin. Um, so it just makes it a little bit harder. But anyway, I hope this information helped you and I will speak to you guys soon. Take care. Thanks and have a great night.